auto key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reset everything. I'm going to select my keys in the graph editor and I'm going to type in right here zero. You will notice that everything goes down to zero. Because the rotation was not key, I have to go to the channel box and type in zero. So this sphere has a key at 1, 12, and 24. So right here on the bottom right hand side, the second icon from the right is the auto key. We can set this here, auto key, or we can go to the preferences for our range slider right here, and it will take us to the preferences. And then we can go to animation, and I can select auto key here. It's the same thing. I'm going to hit save. So let me show you how auto key works. I'm going to delete frame 12. I'm going to hold shift, click on frame 12, and right mouse button go to delete. Or I can just select this key right here and hit delete. Or at frame 12, which is right here, I can go to this translate Y and I can go delete selected. So there's no keys on 12. But look what happens at frame 1. I want the ball to be right here at 1. At frame 12, I want it to be up, but I don't want to go here and go right mouse button and set the key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it, and as soon as I let go, notice that a key has been created. So we can use auto key to set keys as we move something. Let's say at frame 12, if I wanted to set a key not on the up and down movement, but let's say on the Z movement, nothing will be set because we never set a key for translate Z. So what we have to do is we have to type in zero, go to frame one, right mouse button on the translate Z, go key selected, and now from now on, every time you go to a specific place and you transform the movement of the sphere on Z because we keyed it on frame one, auto key will create another key. So if I go to frame 24 and push this ball back, Notice on the graph editor that when I let go, auto key will create a key. And that's how you use auto key to set keys in Maya.